the protected bike lane on King Street was the first in the city's plan to create a grid of bike lanes across urban Honolulu. That's right. It was part of a two-year pilot project. So is it here to stay? We get an update this morning. We are here on the corner of King and South Street in Honolulu. I'm here with Chris Sayers, the Bicycle Coordinator for the Department of Transportation Services. And Chris, today we're getting an update on the protected bicycle lanes uh, here in Honolulu. Uh, now, this started off as a two-year pilot project. Tell me, what's the update? Is it here to stay? Yes, the King Street Protected Bike Lane is here to stay. We've done extensive testing on this project, more than any other bikeway project we've ever done. And we did before counts for bicycles. We did travel time runs where we timed how long it takes to get from here to University Avenue. And we also counted cars. And so as far as the number of bicycles, we've about doubled the number of bicycles using King Street. And about 1,000 people a day now are riding their bikes on King Street. As far as the travel times from, from this end to University Avenue, before it took about 10 minutes. And then we've, we found that it it's about an additional 50 seconds. This is during the PM peak. And so it's really a minimal impact to traffic. And so we found that uh, we're getting a lot more bicycles. The other, the other benefit is we've gotten bicycles off the sidewalks. Before, it was 70% of the bicycles were on the sidewalk on King Street. And now we're down to an average of 4%. And the last numbers were even at 1%. Chris, that is great news. Great news. Uh, so it seems like people are adjusting to the uh, bicycle lane, uh, but there are still challenges that I'm sure bicyclists and drivers and even pedestrians face. What are some of those? Yeah, uh, still the conflict areas are the areas where we put the green paint. So it's where cars are going to cross over the bike lane, and those are still potentially um, problems for, for both drivers and bicyclists. So, so bicyclists and drivers just need to be cautious in those areas. And those are at, at, uh, at intersections where cars are turning left and it, for motorists pulling out of driveways. Previously, coming out of a driveway, motorists only had to look to their right, and now they need to look both directions for bikes. Of course, they had to look for pedestrians both ways anyways. Uh, and then at intersections, they have to look, because it's a two-way bicycle facility on a one-way street, they have to look for bicycles coming from both directions in front and back. Okay, that was going to be my next question. There are a lot of sign signage out there uh, at an intersection reminding cars to yield to pedestrians and bicycles when turning left. If a bicycle is turning left at a crosswalk, uh, who has the right of way? Is it the pedestrian or the bicyclist? In that case, the pedestrian has the right of way and the bicyclist needs to yield to the pedestrian. Generally, what the slower traffic has the right of way. So cars Cars yield to bikes, bikes yield to peds. Now, Chris, from where we're standing, I can see that another protected bicycle lane is being, uh, is almost done on South Street. Tell us about that one. Right, that should be completed this week. And South Street is going to connect from here, where the King Street protected bike lane ends, all the way to Ala Moana Boulevard. And it, it's very similar to King Street, but there are a few minor differences. So on King Street, we had the the curb that helps separate the cars from the bikes. We're not going to have the curb on South Street, but we are going to have extra delineators. So we've doubled up on the delineators as more of a visual separation. And then also the green paint, we have a different design than what we used on King Street. Okay. I love that we are having these protected uh, bicycle lanes. Are there any plans uh, to have more in the future? Uh, yes, we do have plans for more in the future. We're looking at basically connecting like we have done here a lot of the Malcolm Mackay routes. So we're looking at Pekoi, we're looking at Ward, we're looking at Keomoku. Um, probably Pekoi will be the next one. We, we haven't had anything set in stone yet. But also uh, of note, I think we're talking just about Honolulu, but we have other bikeways in other parts of the island. So uh, one bikeway that's actually in the works is in Kailua and Hamakua Drive. And we have uh, bikeway planned in Haleiwa. So there are other areas of the island that we're, we're adding bikeways. Well, Chris, thank you so much. Um, I love that you guys are doing this. You know, not only is it great for the environment, but it's it encourages people to get out there, get some exercise, right? So it's clean and healthy, yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. You. All right, ready?
Now, I did find out when doing this story that uh, the crosswalk light, like the one on Alapai uh, and South King Street, Alapai and South King Street, is only for pedestrians. Bicyclists have their own light. So if the crosswalk light is flashing, mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, the hand, the bicyclist mm -hmm. can still go as long as their light says that they can, but the pedestrians have to stop. So there's actually two crosswalks, one for pedestrians, one for bicyclists. Mm -hmm. So okay. the law, the rule for pedestrians, if you see the number counting down, right. you cannot enter, right? That's a no. Or if you see it blinking, you cannot enter. Um, but the bicyclist can still continue. Can go. Okay. Yes, I learned that on that. Thank you, Trini. Doing that story. So informative. <laughs> mm -hmm. Coming up on Libby.